Hey girly pops, welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> funny, funny joke, Haley. I have some Chick-fil-A. How do people do mukbangs? I feel like I should just eat this first and then come back. I'll be, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I ate my Chick-fil-A and I just watched Colleen's video of her showing everyone that she's pregnant. That's so cute. Anyone else do this with their sweater and put their legs under it? Okay, I'm so freaking relatable. I can't even help it. Okay. <laughs> As you can see by the title, this is going to be a much, much, much more personal video than I usually make, but it is in no way going to be sad, hopefully. <laughs> My intentions for this video are honestly just to help any of you guys out there. As you know, this whole channel has kind of become like my growing up experience and especially being a teenager, there are so many things that you go through that are just weird, uncomfortable, scary, weird and you know for me when i was going through these things or as i am I, I talk about it like this happened to me years ago it literally happened like a few months ago as i was going through these things like i immediately like looked up poems about it because i love poetry slam poetry all that kind of stuff i looked up videos about it and like people who go through these things who are youtubers who i look up to don't really make videos talking about the subject and i thought maybe i could be not one of the first, but you know, like maybe I could be someone who, if any of you guys have gone through a divorce or like a financial struggle situation, you could have someone who you watch online go through it and like see sort of like how I'm dealing with it. All of that to say, it's supposed to be a positive video experience just to help you guys out. And even if you haven't gone through something like this, I mean, God forbid that you will. Unfortunately, like statistically, statistically, a lot of kids have to go through stuff like this, but that's okay. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to start from the beginning I don't know what I portray myself to be but growing up in like the schools that I grew up in people thought I was like rich for some reason and that could not be more than opposite of the truth I don't I don't know lower middle class or like very very middle middle class I don't know everything about finances so I could be completely wrong but I know that we're not anywhere near rich right and all that to say that my mom gave me the absolutely most fairy tale childhood I could ever imagine for myself I never really knew any sort of financial struggle as a kid but after begging my mom for dance classes after two years she picked up a part-time job at subway Way to fulfill those dreams and I didn't really understand the concept of like dance is expensive we don't have that much money my mom is literally picking up another job at subway on top of her already busy job to support my dreams as well as driving me downtown to take these dance lessons staying there for two hours and driving me back home and she did this for years I thought this was gonna be a happy video and I'm getting emotional Frick! I guess I should take a thumbnail right now, right? Jeez, that was quick. <laughs> Since we never lived in like the greatest part of town, schools around us were not, you know, the greatest. And she always went out of her way to find a better school for me to go to that she would drive further away from me or get me enrolled into all those sorts of things. She just, she did everything possible. Frick. I'm crying because I love my mom so much, not because I'm sad. Super, super super blessed human being child everything greatest childhood ever i'm saying all of that just to say i had never experienced struggle in my entire life i was pretty spoiled even though we weren't like rich by any means my mom as you can tell always just did everything in her capacity to, to make my life great like so that i would never understand financial struggle i never like knew what was going on behind the scenes all i knew was just like a perfect life basically and now fast forward 2018 it is the month of july and i found out in what was it? Was it February? Either February or March, my parents told me that they were getting a divorce. Now this is the part where you're you're probably thinking that I'm gonna get emotional, but for some reason this part doesn't really make me emotional, which sounds weird, but my parents were getting a divorce, I found out a few months ago, and pretty immediately, like I'd say about like two to three weeks after, my dad was completely moved out of the house, even though divorce is like this big thing that can be really traumatic for a lot of kids this is weird to talk about like i of course i was like sad it's like weird confusing i don't know maybe it was shock but i just i was like i was fine because quite frankly like a lot of good things came from it shoot this part gets me emotional my mom came to christ um she accepted christ into her life which is something that i have been praying pra praying praying for it to happen for like eight years so you know when you pray for something for like about a decade and then it finally happens it's really one of the most surreal moments that can ever happen to you just quite proves to me that god has always been present in my life 
I'm dabbing because I don't like crying on camera. That is the only thing that I wanted to happen before I died. I just wanted to know that like my mom was in good hands, which if she's in Christ, then she is, so I'm fine. So that was amazing. And I also have three half brothers who I never really created a relationship that I wanted. And then after the divorce, I don't know if it was like, I don't know, because my half brothers, they also have divorced parents. So I don't know if it was something that we could like relate on or something, but I don't know. We just, we created a bond over that, I guess. So we have a relationship now, which is just like, all I've ever wanted as well and so my house still always feels very full because it's me it's my mom it's my brother and then obviously Gabe is always at my house um <laughs> Surprise surprise. We've been dating for we just hit six months. Um, so yeah, sorry for All the incest jokes. No, he's not like my brother in any sort of sense uh, Yeah, we've been we've been dating and he's just been like a really huge blessing in my life He makes me constantly really happy. You probably didn't think that was gonna come out in this video, but here it is <laughs> We're gonna get personal right so there it is. I'm still a very happy camper despite divorce tips regarding divorce If you are going through it have gone through it or eventually might go through it, God forbid, I don't want anyone to go through it, but your parents are human beings and even though we see them as these like, I don't know what we see them as, but we we just like set them apart, I think, in our brains somehow. It's really easy to, to forget that they are human beings and they have as complex relationships as we have. And so just remember to keep it separate, you know? Like, they are your parents and they hopefully take care of you, I mean, hopefully, but it is their own separate lives. So personally, I found that staying separate from it and not getting involved was a really big healthy factor that made it easier, I guess. Also staying super, super busy, obviously with my YouTube channel and with school. I did notice a sort of decline in my school behavior after the divorce and I don't know if that was like a, I don't know, I guess it's just one of those like sub subconscious reactions that you don't really realize it's affecting you but it is and then I like was like, I don't know, I was, I worked really hard in pre-cal and then after that you could just see a sort of slow decline in my grades after that news came out. I can't sit here and tell you like, I'm perfectly fine, I didn't feel any sort of bad emotions after that. It's okay and that's another thing is it'll be shocking, it'll be weird for you, so let yourself process it because if you don't and you just hold it in, it'll manifest into some weird ways and like 10 years down the line, you're gonna have some weird issue with relationships and trust and stuff like that, so just process it while it's happening and allow yourself to go through that, it is completely okay. So stay busy, stay focused, let yourself process the emotions and definitely stay out of the whole parent drama, if any, and that should that should make it a lot easier. Obviously, you guys know I'm super Christian girl or whatever, so I always am holding fast to God, or at least I try to as much as possible. So I was always in Bible studies, um, which are really like, honestly the most helpful. Like you can go to church, that's great, but Bible studies are like a tight knit community where you can tell them everything that's going on and they helped me a lot during that entire process, as well as my relationship with God, everything like that. I could always put my trust in him and I never felt like my life was like completely in shambles you know like yeah. have a super blessed life for 17 years and then all of a sudden you experience your first hardship and it's just weird it really is it's like a confusing time but I always had my staples things that would never stray from me fast forward to now obviously with a divorce your financial situation changes a little bit and like I said we were never like top class like upper middle class or rich by any means so when my parents well they're they're still currently getting divorced as they're still currently getting a divorce the financial situation got a little bit more scary and I started to notice that like my mom needed to borrow my money here and there and so you know that's just kind of that's just the thing that was happening. Fast forward to the present day my mom lost her job last Friday which I mean yikers you know like <laughs> nothing bad's ever happened in my life and then all of a sudden divorce a few months later boom my mom loses her job and here I am you know that saying you can't control what happens in your life but you can't control how you react to it here I am trying to not react in a terrible way and here is where you guys come in here's where I'm gonna get a little bit sappy and excuse me for just feeling so so much gratefulness in my heart, but this is just how I feel. Last night, I was driving my car, and I was just so, so, so happy. And I was just thinking like, Haley, you've always had like the bestest, happiest life, and now two huge things that are scary and not the happiest happened to you, and yet you're just still so happy. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, that's almost weird, you know? But 
I don't know what it is. I honestly think it's a God thing. It is not something I could do on my own to feel this way, but I put so much trust in God and I have seen just so many things where you think that he is not in control, but then you realize later down the line, he had control of the situation the entire time. And even though maybe I cannot see it yet, I just know it's happening. Something deep inside of me just knows. And one of those things is my YouTube channel. It might seem weird, but my YouTube channel is honestly like one of the biggest blessings that I have ever received. To be able to make money off of something that I love doing and would be doing regardless if money was a factor is just amazing. The fact that I can say that yes, I can help my mom out as she's going through these struggles because of my YouTube channel, that's crazy to me. That makes me so happy and so grateful and just so appreciative. Like there is no part of me that can feel like pity for myself or sad when I just know that like I have so much still to be grateful for and you know that saying like there's not really much room to be sad when you're feeling so much gratefulness and obviously I had my moments of sadness I had all that and then this whole my mom loses her job thing happens and then I'm kind of like hmm that's really inconvenient timing this should like really scare me and obviously at first I was really scared but, you know I got a lot of trust in God and I know it's gonna be okay and I just want you guys to know that it's gonna be okay no matter what you're going through and I also just want to say thank you because not only do I get to do what I love to do have these relationships with you guys but I also get to have this as my job and be able to support my mom and my absolute biggest dream is to make enough money to make my mom financially stable for the rest of her life give her her dream trip to Italy give her a house on the lake these are all materialistic things but basically what I'm trying to say is I just don't want her to ever worry about money ever ever again and hopefully I will be able to do that someday if you've ever seen me do like a sponsored post in the past or if you see me do one in the future yes obviously I only do sponsored things for brands or products that I actually use or truly believe in second of all it has never been about money Sure, it has been about money to survive, but it's never been about excess money to be rich or just have lots of money just to like buy things. It's never been about that. It all goes towards my goal of making my mom financially stable and like never having to worry about that again. And also for my own personal dreams of moving to LA, not going to college and starting my own business. And obviously that's a really risky route to go. If you tell people that, especially adults, they kind of look at you funny like, alrighty, good for you, you do that, but yikes, you know, that's kind of their reaction. And so you kind of need some money to live in LA, it's freaking expensive, and you also need money to start a business because that's also not cheap. All of that to say, money is stupid, fame is stupid, it's never been about that, I'm just trying to do what I love, this is all so fun to me, and I could not be more grateful for it ever in my entire life. If you're going through a divorce, I am very sorry, but it you can still be so happy, and I hope this this like that me <laughs> is a living example of that if you see me ever being like super happy in my videos or just trying to always take the positive route it is not a front or like me putting on a smile just to make a video it's like it's just it's just real <laughs> I don't know how to even say this and also if you ever see me being negative in my videos or maybe angry in my videos that's also an um, <coughs> that is also an emotion that is natural that happens sometimes and I let myself have those feelings as well I honestly don't know what provoked me to make this video I just felt like I spend so much time on YouTube if anything hard I was going through I would just watch YouTube and I would just feel better and like forget about my my whatever is happening in life you know but I had never seen a youtuber who I look up to talk about a situation like this and I'd always really wish that they would because everything looks so picture-perfect on social media and I just want to say that that's not real and even sometimes when I do shopping videos people comment like I wish I had money just go blow at a store like that I put money into those videos to make the video and it's like a, it's like a business you know you make money from the business you put it back in the business so you can make more videos it's never been I'm rich I can you know I don't know even how to explain that I hope you just understand what I'm trying to say hopefully this was helpful or inspiring to any of you guys who are going through a similar situation to see someone who maybe you watch on the internet have a situation like that but can still come out of it super happy and
there's the burp of the day. I guess I'll end it here. I don't really know how to put a conclusion on this. I hope you guys appreciated me opening up or whatever. Feel free to open up in the comments. I would definitely, definitely, definitely be reading lots and lots of comments on this video. Yeah. Thanks for learning a little bit too much about my life. Um, I will be back with another silly goofball me sort of content video soon, but maybe you could enjoy this too. So yeah, I love you guys very much as I express in this video and I will go away now. <laughs> okay, bye. Watch me fade every day in the morning. 2 a.m., yeah, I'm sipping and I'm zoning. Watch me move, watch me sway, watch me dip out. In a room full of girls, I'm trying to dig out.